moved to the Monday, August 6th meeting of the Montpelier Design Review Committee. I will let staff and members introduce themselves. Hannah Smith, Meredith Crandall, staff. Stephen Everett, Eric Elwood, Seth Mitchell, Benjamin Cheney. We are advisory to the Development Review Board. We will review each of the applications and pass them forward to the next Development Review Board meeting. Uh, I hear any comments or anything from the members? If not, do I hear a motion to approve the agenda? So moved. Second. All in favor of the agenda, raise your hand. We'll go on to the first applicant, 27 Spruce Street, owner of the properties. Chris Pierce. Chris. I am. How are you? Good. So tell us what you want to demolish. Um, <laughs> the rear of the building uh, stairs needed to be demolished for um, so that we could get to the sill to jack, because the sill was rotted. We had to jack the building up. And the only way to get to the rear sill, because that was sitting on dirt, was to get to tear that off. And that's just no point. It wasn't even that. It was um, about four, four feet, four and a half feet. It was just wide enough for a... These are the... Right. So... Yeah. It's if you look at the last page of the packet you have, you can see the stairs that are in the back. That's what's been taken off. And this is just going to take it off for time. If you can't rebuild it unless Chris would approve the steep. The stairs are w okay. much too steep to be uh, rebuilt, and there's not enough room to build proper stairs. Um, you'd also have to put in foundation. It's an it's extreme amount of work. It could. You, you've got an alternate set of stairs back there anyway. That's right. From yeah, changed it. Forward, I think we looked at that at yeah. the last meeting. Yeah, we changed it to go a different way. If anybody needs a refresher, I did bring the full application with me that's going to the DRB tonight. They did review it during the last meeting. They didn't have time. Okay. So again, they already, we already looked at the stairs yep. that were replaced. This is just, didn't get added in. Yeah, meeting. just right. due diligence is my, my bad. I didn't realize I actually needed a permit to demolish something. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Only to build. That's all yes. I thought I needed it for, but I get you. Any other? Comments, questions from oh, anybody? Any this is pretty straightforward. I'm going to quickly run through the criteria. Preservation and reconstruction of the appropriate historic style, acceptable. Harmony of exterior design, acceptable. Compatibility of proposed exterior materials. I mean, all this is acceptable because we've already approved the replacement stairs anyway. Compatibility of proposed landscaping on 5 4 here. Prevention of the use of the Incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials, acceptable location on appearance of all utilities, nothing else you want to throw in at the time for any reason. Any lighting or any. Oh, yeah, actually, I just wanted to show you that these are the lights that we that were chosen by um, my client for. So there's a there's two stair, two porch lights, and that would be these. Okay. I can hand these around if you want to see them. And then these. Last time. Um, in here, mm -hmm. the last design review, there weren't any pictures, so the approval was that they'd be the same as the ones that were already on the building. Yeah. Okay. But you hadn't so actually seen them. This is similar to what's there. And this is just to replace in the porch, the two porches. So. I'll just make a note. Uh, for the first one, I think, should be a not average. It's not the reconstruction. Okay. Or anything. So is basically an amended application because it's been continued with the DRB that didn't have any review so we're holding this in because this is the back you know, demolition of a part of a contributing historic structure so you needed to see it we just weren't aware that this had happened until after the last meeting yeah yeah So I wasn't here last time, mm -hmm. so I'm confused myself. Really. 
I just said the demolition was approved and it was an amended and the application was amended because the new replacement stairs were previously approved. We have multiple copies if you want. I don't know if you want them That's correct. Okay. Describe your signage. So um, I work for a law firm up in Burlington called Dunkill Saunders Elliott Rubble on Hand. This is our new Montpelier space that we're moving into for with um, Ed Bob's um, establishment. Um, the sign, as sort of laid out in the application, um, is a posted sign, approximately 40 inches by 30 inches, I believe, um, and sort of as portrayed there in the photographs or the and the chart. This sign is not on the road. It's not on State Street. It's actually off back next to the building within the, um, there's a stone wall that's been built between the building and the, or the stone wall, a space and then the building, and the sign is actually going to sit in that spot. So it'll only be really viewable from the parking lot once you've entered that parking area. Is there a separate uh, street number on that building itself, or is that included with the main building on front? So the main building, yeah. So the main building on front is 153 State Street. Mm -hmm. So we were just assigned 151 about two weeks ago. Okay. Yeah. Is there a 151 on the building? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I believe Bob's plan is to put a 151 on there. We're still working out with the post office as well where the mail is going to go to or not. So. Okay. Assuming you might put that on the building, of course we have to look at what you propose as I guess something. That's just your driveway, isn't it? Yeah. I, I, the reason I'm asking that is that somebody's going to have to find you before they see the sign. Yeah. <laughs> we don't really intend for this to be a a place for people to walk in and sort of right. find us. Right. We want people to go to our Burlington office. Um, we don't know if this will be fully staffed all the time. There may be only three days a week or so. So it's not really intended. It's only for people once they're, we've told them where we're going to be. Yeah. 
and they should yeah. find us then. Are you the only occupant in this building? Um, from a business standpoint, yes. There's two lawyers. Okay. But, yeah. But I mean, we're firm up there, so Yes, we'll be, we, we've rented the entire building. Okay. Yeah. Can you speak to the uh, rationale behind the location and the height of the sign? It was what was proposed by our um, our signage folks up in Colchester, Essex Junction. It mimics the sign that we have in Burlington at this point. The branding. The branding does, yep. Yeah. So basically, the top of the sign is just over five feet, five feet two inches, so high level. And of course, if you're standing below it, there's a slight pitch to the driveway, but if you're standing at the side, it's basically. Yes. Yes. Your intention is why it has to be as big as it is. I don't think it needs to be. <laughs> this was really what was proposed by, like I said, our our signage folks. They wanted to actually make it much bigger because they felt it was so far from the road. I did not think that was necessary. As I said, it sort of mimics what we have in Burlington. Um, it could be shorter. It could be smaller. I think it's all. That's all. I, I sort of. It's, Looking at this picture, really fairly big. It's meant to be seen seen from the parking lot. Yeah. When you drive in. Yeah. I, I think it'd be a lot smaller. It'd be better to have a smaller sign. Not not small. I'd be a little concerned. I mean, there is a lot of parking going on in there, so I'd be concerned if it got too small that it could be obscured by a truck or something else in the vicinity. But I'm not opposed to you know a smaller sign. And how far from the how far from the street to the sign itself? Well over 100 feet. So this is a view, like the sign of the area? Yes. It, it, so it's quite a distance. You're not really going to be able to see the sign from the street anyway. It's not the focus of the sign. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we could have put we could have put it on the building, but Bob would rather us not. Yeah. No, I like that so that's why we've posted it. That. Yeah. Respecting the building is great. Right? Yeah. I think it could go a little lower, though, because really, I mean, nobody can park in front of this no. at all, because it's a circulation no. point. And it kind of bottlenecks there, anyways. That's I, true. I, I That's very true. For me, I don't mind the size. It's just the, the height. I don't mind dropping a little bit further down so that it's closer to the line of the right windows. So, so alignment to the bottom yeah, of the so windows on the front of the building? Yeah, I see what you mean. Stop on the sign, the lines from the bottom of the of the windowsill, mm -hmm. lines at the top of the sign. Uh, it's also it's such a nice, intimate building, and the sign kind of is contrasted with the You want your sign to read, but <laughs> I think uh, going lower would, would, be would be a little bit better. Yeah. I think this image may distort the scale and make the sign look bigger than it really is. It possibly could. Because it's just 30, 42 inches across the the top, and uh, probably I'm looking at the space between the window and the corner. Probably, uh, maybe, it's, maybe it's right. I think it'd be better smaller just in, in, in general. Because uh, like Bob has done such a careful job of doing that. Better. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, how much smaller would you suggest? Uh, 26 by 42. Three, three by two by three, two by three. It's not a huge amount, but it makes it a little bit smaller. So, just out of curiosity, what is this parking space that's on the floor? Is it just for? You know, I I honestly have no idea right now. That's unfilled area that can't be parked in at all. So I'm not really sure what that was is supposed to be. Is to preserve those doors. Parking? Is anybody else using? Any, any other uh, mm, I mean, I think they'll get filled. Well, well the people from 153 are using the building. They use that part. All that. No, that but I think you will. Yeah, they use all the parking in the parking lot. Yeah. yeah. I know the. The handicap parking space is going to be on this side right there. Yeah. So I don't know what the intention of that particular space is. 
Well, that is just saying maybe out of respect for the doors that are there. Is Possibly, yeah. Yeah. You can't open them? No. No. No lighting? No. No. I don't like to work late. That's right, that's right. Some in that bit. Yeah. Yep. And I think that, again, as Eric said, that there's a lot of effort, time, and money spent on recreating the new facility. Yeah. Restoring that building. Yeah. It says the seeds that think that that would make it fit in really nicely. Sure. That's one thing. Yeah, absolutely. Okay with you guys? For sure. Yeah. Okay. For sure. Comments, questions, suggestions, otherwise, otherwise, the sign looks nice. And, and, and the proportions don't quite work. You don't keep the same proportions, but just generally, yep. if you reduce the top to three feet, then do the proportional it'd sign. Do the proportional sign, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yep. so it'll work. Sign people in that one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the criteria for this is number 1A, preservation or reconstruction of the appropriate historic style of the proposed projects in the historic district that involves a historic structure, etc. Harmony of exterior design, acceptable. Compatibility of proposed exterior materials, acceptable. Compatibility of proposed landscaping, not proposed with this application. Preser prevention of use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials, acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities, no lighting for design. No lighting. Nope. Recognition of and respect for view quarters and significant vistas. And in the city and state house acceptable. Conformance with cityscape placement and design recommendations acceptable. Compatibility with subject property and adjacent properties acceptable. Shall not obscure significant architectural details acceptable. Consistency and uniformity of multiple signs in CB2 CB2 in the districts not applicable. Elimination Individual letters affixed in the building break directly on the building structure and encourage the sign in this location is accepted. All in favor of the application. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you.
Next application for 17 Court Street. Court Street Associates, Francis Todd Wheeler. Welcome to the table. Hello, thank you. And I will just uh, preface this with Todd is a tenant of mine in another location. Uh, if anybody, I can recuse myself if anybody thinks that that's appropriate. Uh, but otherwise, I'll run the show and then I'll let everybody else vote on it. So go ahead Fair and enough. describe your uh, the poll. Uh, you know, barbers for centuries have had some sort of symbolization outside their establishment. Uh, and in this case, as a standard barber pole. Um, it's, a, it's a real symbol in that when the pole is spinning and it's, it's illuminated, I mean, the barber is inside the shop working and available to, to take customers. Uh, this is my first shop and after 31 years of barbering. And I've always dreamed since I was 16 years old of having a pull-up. It's been sitting in my shop for the last two weeks, and I'm just uh, I've been dying to get here uh, to get this thing up. So that's really it. Is it going to be lit and turn? It does be lit and turn, but only during my business hours. I, I certainly don't have any problem with that, but internally, what sign? I don't have any problem with it at all. It's a what about the It is. What is the lighting inside? It's a fluorescent 10 watt tube bulb. 10 watt tube. So it's not a bright, it's just barely enough to light up the bulb. Essentially, yes. And just, I mean, I think this is fantastic. I love this idea. And I'm also just curious. Are there any other professions that don't use words for signage that are known and therefore is really a sign if there's no words? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it's necessarily a sign in the sense that we, in terms of what we usually look at. Uh, I, mean, I think it's good to have it. I just wonder about the, the wording. It is. A, can you call it a sign, or is it a decorative light fixture? I'd right. say it's a decorative light fixture. <laughs> I mean, really, it doesn't. There's no words on it. It doesn't. No, it's, I mean, it's I, a, it's I think I read the definition of a sign just recently. Something to convey. That certainly beats barber shop. I have no idea about that. It's just what all barber shops have at it. Yeah. No, I get it. Uh, I, so. I, <laughs> there's, there's precedent. No, there's, there's, a, there's a one on East State okay. Street already, so there's no precedent for one. I, I don't have any problem with it. You know, there's a really nice, neat uh, barber pole. This uh, guy Boucher was, uh, he gets plenty of wind up and it runs all day. Well, I didn't know he could wind it up. It's a wind up. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. It, it, he's had it for, well, he's, he's had the one out on the floor. No, it's, it, it's Master's Edge. It used oh, to be okay. Yankee Clipper. Okay. I've cut my hair since I moved to Montpelier 42 years ago. <laughs> I, I, I'm not a good advertiser. He's awesome. The guy's great. <laughs> but, uh, so there's no other sign, right? That's it. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I mean, uh, Yana, the property manager for Lake, uh, Lake Point uh, that manages this property, she has a sign that was already right. on the other side of the building, already, I think, gone through design review. Um, and so uh, Audra said that, you know, because that the sign I wanted uh, was going to overdo the amount of square footage allowed per building. So I did have something on this little area here, but I was like, you know, since it's, it's already up, there's no reason to. And plus the barber pole says it all. Right. You know. Uh, to calculate the square footage of a revolving yeah. cylinder. Do you have to do the circle of it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that the door that you would enter into to uh, go into your business? Yes, sir. So it's a site recommendation form. Should we be using a different form since there's no more is that considered a logo? Well, honestly, I had missed the internally illuminated signs except for specifically allowed under these regulations. Let me see if I've got a different form, which I think I do. And let's just say it's not. 
I think it's art. Is it a sign or is that a, uh, a light fixture? A lighted fixture? Are for a lighted fixture? I guess That's we can make that determination, can't we? Why not? I'd say uh, it's a lighted fixture. There's no words. The, uh, Here. Use that instead, I'll fill in the details. Oh, uh, okay. I'm curious about the mounting. That's a clabbered front on the building, right? And I, I wouldn't know exactly what it was, to be honest with you. Uh, it, it looks like there's a, a metal piece and then uh, little brackets that fit on that that screw into the wall. Yes. Yes, yes. Is it going to be hardwired? Uh, it's uh, actually a plug in. So you plug it in every time or, you, or it's going to be plugged in the switch? So there's a, uh, if, I don't know if you can see on the drawing, right above it, uh, on the top of the, in the middle of the roof, there is a light fixture that actually already has a bulb screwed in that has a plug on it, and it would just go up and, I was going to get some of that uh, waterproof to hide the cord. So you step on something and... Well, in it. the inside, you just flip a switch oh, and it oh, puts that light on, right, right, sending right, current right. to that particular yeah, fixture. Yeah, Basement light fixture. Additional light fixture. I'll put it on my notes for HPC to clean up the definitions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really like signs like that. I, I, I like the sign that their pharmacy did. I'm glad they left that up. The order of pestle. And that's yeah. just a tra traditional apothecary sign. Um, I'm hoping to retire. If I don't, if I don't get to buy that building uh, very soon, I'll, I'll be very upset. But I would love to stay there until I can't cut hair anymore. <laughs> Hopefully, as long as as the guys have. I think Guy is well into his seventies. My dad's seventy-seven. He's still cutting hair every day. So, do you think if this thing were to move? like out onto one of these posts, it would be more visible? You know, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I think so, but I kind of like the fact that it's, it's protected from the weather mm -hmm. underneath versus the post. It, it might have some exposure to weather. Mm -hmm. oh, the race, with the recent rainstorms that we've had, uh, I, I, there's been water almost all over that deck, uh, even beneath. So uh, I would prefer to have it protected. It is rated for indoor and outdoor use. Mm -hmm. But just for you know, just for safety's sake, and in that location, you're probably not going to get a lot of walk-in anyway. Uh, uh, I, I, I beg to differ. I've got, yeah. I, I probably got ten walk-ins today. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of traffic there's a lot of traffic on Court Street. Yeah. There is offices there. Yes. And then State building. And then they start telling everybody. In the yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, it's it's been it's been a fantastic. I mean, I had a I had a very large following at Miles Court. Uh, I was there for three years, and my clientele list is about eighteen hundred people. Uh, you know, so they, about I'd say about seventy five percent came there, and it's been great so far. I've been been very happy. Well, when guy retires, I'll come. By. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Any other comments, questions, suggestions for the light fixture? Okay. I'll run through the criteria. Preservation and reconstruction of the appropriate historic style of the proposed projects in the historic district. Absolutely. Historic structure acceptable. Harmony of exterior design with other properties. Well, there's one on Miles Court already, so now we have another one. That's good. Compatibility of proposed exterior materials acceptable. Compatibility of proposed landscaping not proposed. Prevention of the use of Compatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities. The light fixture is in an acceptable location. Recognition of and respect for view quarters and the significant vistas, including gateway views in the city and state house, acceptable. All in favor of the application is proposed. Raise your hand. And again, all reviews by civil. Can you sit out here and wait? Yes. Good. But there will be two Adirondack chairs there very soon.
Right, and you can sit there and read the newspaper. Sit there and read the newspaper, but people want to come in now because there's air conditioning inside, so they they don't want to sit outside. <laughs> okay, just, just sign there. Okay. Thank you, sir. You guys have a great evening. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. Next application is for 125 Berry Street, another way. You're Elaine? I am. Come up and describe your paint job. Yeah, so. I should say that I work for the Preservation Trust, and we have a very small home to help this project. Mm -hmm. So we have recent renovations, nearly finished, um, and we are looking to paint the Berry Street facade and the um, side facade, which is facing Central Vermont Solid Waste Management. Um, only the first and second layers, um, because we can't, uh, the quote that we got for the rest of it, um, was way too much. It was out of our range, so we're just doing those first two levels um, at this stage, and then so not the dormers. Not the dormers at this point. No. And why um, only two sides? Um, the quote that we got to do the whole building was twenty-five thousand dollars, and we are not anywhere near that. The paint that we're getting for this um, is actually donated from Sherwin Williams, um, okay. and so this is what we can do at this point. And we're not going to do the porch. At this point, we do plan to do it later, but this is um, pressure treated. It's, all, it's a whole new new porch, so we'll be doing that next year after it's sat for a season. So. It doesn't match perfectly, but I got it as close as I possibly could. Um, I was going to ask why you're painting it such a dark color. Yeah. It's kind of down down there. Yeah, I wanted it painted a light color, but I also don't want, because we're doing it in these stages, I didn't want it to be such a difference in the color. So it's aluminum siding, um, and it's uh, it's a kind of a slate blue. Um, so this downing slate was the closest that that I could find to that. Are they using the or donating the duration? They yeah. are, Good. yeah. Yep. Besides that location, I found that when, uh, when you're near the street line, sort of a medium dark or better off than a light color because light colors if you look at buildings some on Berry Street anything is painted a light color. This is quite a dirt quite level quite where you have the streets in the middle. Yeah, it's so way down. It's kind of down behind you know, it's quite a of the street. Yeah. Yeah, so we were, I was going to do this color and then do the trim a light color and then do the porch a lighter color. So that's that's the plan, the long term plan. So trim Yes. Yep. Is this bit of siding going to be finished, or is that that already is? That's all finished. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's already finished. Yeah. And it doesn't carry over to the new. Edition. No, that we actually plan to keep white. It's a um, Vinyl siding, so we plan to keep that way. Yeah, it's the before and after is already pretty good, so yeah. <laughs> I want to get some paint on there to make it better. Yeah, yeah, and so I, um, I guess I would just do another application or amend. This application this, at that point. How long the application for two years? I think two, two years. years is what Roger said, yeah. So, uh, in opinion, within two years, uh, as well as put it in this one. Any recommendation? The option of changes would be the remainder.
down was down there meeting us. You know, I was really impressed with what you guys do. Just the command of the building. Yeah. Now, now that there's a place where people can stay overnight nearby, that's really cool. Yeah, we partnered with Good Samaritan Haven this past season, and yeah. we actually served twice as many people as we did last fiscal year. So. Well. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, if it's sitting idle uh, as part of the painting, if you don't want to do it as part, um, I've had Steve Rivers, Amy Kelly, they contribute his uh, room lift yep. for oh. a few days, and they can get up and do that whole thing in a day. Oh, we could do that, yeah. We actually have a good relationship with, with Steve, yeah. too. That so would be get great. To donate that room lift. We would likely donate it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I've got a maintenance guy who can do that. <laughs> That'd be awesome. The lift was part of the issue, and then, you know, yes. when we went with a, a company there, the we quote rent, was high. We rent Steve's booth like ourselves from time to time. Yeah, yeah I've rented good. it also. Yeah, it's great to deal with. He really is. All I indicated on the application was that the remainder of the building could be painted the same color, same color scheme for them as the two year approval term. Okay, great. Wonderful. Congratulations. Yeah. Yes. It's been a long haul. It's great yeah. to see it all done. Yeah. Any other comments, questions, suggestions? Well, that's through the criteria here. Uh, preservation or reconstruction of the appropriate historic style acceptable. Harmony of exterior design acceptable. Compatibility of post exterior materials acceptable. No landscaping. Four, prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials acceptable. No change in utilities, lighting, or anything. No, that's our. That was in our previous. Yeah. Not applicable. Recognition of and respect for view quarters and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house, acceptable. All in favor of the application is proposed. Yeah, yeah, the interior is quite amazing too now. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great night. Thank you. Next application City of Montpelier for the school district. Oh, for afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Describe your application for the storage shed. Uh, all we're doing is we're going to relocate, if uh, acceptable, to relocate the uh, storage shed that's at the UES to back behind the middle school where the there currently is a smaller shed. So, I'm not clear where the shed is coming from. I don't know where it's going. It's right on the east side of the elementary school on Park Street. It's kind of, it's right in the, it's tucked in a the corner there. And this is behind the middle school. Yep. And that shed currently exists. Correct. And, and it's going to remain. So there will be two sheds. Yep. There's no foundation or anything. It's on skids. Questions, comments, that's a pretty simple <laughs> okay. There used to be a shipping container there, right? Is that still there or is that gone? That's gone. Yeah. Seems like when they put that addition on, they would have realized they may have wanted a shed there. Okay. Storage space is the first thing to go. Yep. By the way, just for the record for the application, what's your full name? Andrew LaRosa. LA capital R? Correct. OSA? Correct. Nobody has anything else to suggest, I'll run through the criteria for this one. Uh, preservation and, or reconstruction of the appropriate historic style. I probably doesn't apply for the storage. Shit out. <laughs> 
not good with scoop. I don't know. <laughs> Department of Exterior Design, acceptable. It's an existing ship. It's just going to be compatibility of proposed exterior materials, acceptable. Compatibility of proposed landscaping, not proposed. Prevention of the use of income. Compatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities not, not applied for. Recognition of and respect for review quarters and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house, probably not applicable here at the back of the middle school. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't exactly call that a gateway view of the city. But anyway, any comments, questions? Otherwise, all in favor of the application, raise your hand. When school starts, you just can get a whole bunch of students to pick it up and carry it. If only. No, we've got a firm from Waitsfield coming over and moving it for us. And you can sign that one just above my name. Yeah. When the high school moved, moved out of there, uh, they Oops, got sorry. all the kids library in boxes and the kids carried a box they got on a school bus they haul them to the new school okay. <laughs> they do something like that similar similarly now at the high schools they the last week of school they kind of help yeah. clean out stuff so thank okay. you very much one of the cool things about the barber poles you have to be a licensed barber to have a barber pole out front it's yes. not a cosmetologist that they're the only ones they made them take it down on Elm Street when John retired. Oh, really? Yeah, because the ladies had cosmetology or whatever. They were, right. they were, they were hairdressers, not barbers. Yes. They were. So the state made them take the barber pole down. Oh. <laughs> it's very cool. Very interesting. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Have a good Thank night. you very much. Uh, has anybody had a chance to look at their medicine? Yes, I was. Both of them.
been a bit of a slog. <laughs> Regulations often are, but uh, uh, then uh, after that, uh, uh, they go to the uh, Planning Commission. I don't imagine we'll be done with it till the first year. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to go make a report to the Planning Commission. I don't think their next meeting is until the 27th or something, uh, or they have a they have a full agenda. I don't mind about it. But it's going along. I don't think it's going to be a drastic change from what we do now. Um, the, the list, this checklist is going to be a little bit different. And uh, so guidelines are let's mail them out when we get whatever we do on Thursday night. Okay. Or if you, would you guys like to see them now? And then you could uh, send any comments we have to Mary. Yeah. We, if we get any comments between now and Thursday, if anybody had time, yeah. then we'd be able to work on those spots. So, yeah, why don't you mail off what we've got? Okay. Sarah mailed it off. Yep, I'll just forward that. Yep, great. I could do that. I don't mind. Other business. Next meeting, August the twentieth. And do I hear a motion to adjourn? So moved. So moved. Do I hear a second? Second. All in favor? Adjourn. Raise your hand. Meeting is adjourned.